Hello everybody, we're still dealing with the same situation. A lot of action over the Pacific, a lot of upper air support for that action. And then when a disturbance comes our way, it weakens, it outruns its upper air support and becomes a very weak trough. We've got a couple more of those before we really see one a little bit more substantial. The first one that's coming in though, as far as the weak disturbance, is today for the coastline a chance for some showers. We'll see daytime highs ranging in the upper 50s. Partly cloudy tonight, lows dropping down to the 40s. For western interior valleys, a variable cloudiness, a chance of showers, and the chance is actually pretty good if you head north. The Willamette Valley dealing with quite a few of them. As you head down to northern California, it's slight to no chance. Daytime highs in the upper 50s to low 60s. Overnight lows tonight in the 30s to near 40. A partly cloudy sky, some areas of fog perhaps. East of the Cascades, partly to mostly cloudy, the chance of a shower up toward Chamalt. Daytime highs in the 50s to low 60s once you head down to Alturas. Partly cloudy, actually a cooler start to tomorrow than was had today with lows in the 20s. Another system on Sunday, that's actually a warm front, and it's a pretty decent chance of rain right now, but not that much rain. And notice the warming coming in for the early part of next week. That comes crashing down for Wednesday, but this system on Wednesday of next week is trending weaker. Each computer model run showing it's just not quite as much wind, just not quite as cold in behind it. Precipitation still a pretty easy bet, but we'll see. It is trending weaker. As far as Northern California, you're on the southern fringe of the action on Sunday. I'll have to give it just a chance category for rain. The warming pretty much universal for Monday and Tuesday before we see the universal cooling for Wednesday and Thursday of next week.